Welcome to TempCoder Tech. Today, we'll install MariaDB on Debian 12 and create a sample database to get you started. Let's dive in. First, update your package list to ensure you're working with the latest versions available. Now, let's install the MariaDB server. This will download and install the core MariaDB files on your system. Once installed, start the MariaDB service and enable it to automatically start on boot. MariaDB provides a security script that will guide you through steps to secure your database server. Run the command and follow the prompts to set a root password, remove anonymous users, disable remote root login, and more. After securing the installation, let's log in to MariaDB as the root user. Enter the root password you just set. First, we create a new database named TestDB to store our data. This will be the dedicated space where all tables and records related to this project or application are saved. Next, we create a user called test user and assign a password. Creating specific users allows us to control who can access and modify each database, which is essential for security and organization. Then we grant this user full access to TestDB. This means test user can manage all aspects of this database, including creating tables and editing data. Finally, we use the flush privileges. Command to immediately apply these new permissions without needing a restart. Let's confirm our new database is set up by listing the available databases and switching to TestDB. First, we'll create a sample table called Users. This table will have two columns, an ID column, which stores numbers, and a name column, which can store names up to 50 characters. Think of a table like a spreadsheet where each row is a new entry, and each column represents a specific type of information. Next, We'll insert two entries, 14 Mike with ID 1 and 14 Krikas with ID 2. These entries allow us to test that data can be stored and retrieved properly. Finally, we'll use the select asterisk from users command to display all entries in the users table. This shows us that everything is set up correctly and that MariaDB is working as expected. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Tempcoder Tech for more tutorials and check out our blog for detailed guides.